Hey, Rock Solid people, it's Pat. We're gonna do an unboxing, and I'm gonna to try to get through this without coughing because I still have a lingering cough from a recent cold. So, got some water, take a drink, and then we're gonna open this up. Now, if you look closely right now, you can probably see on the box what we're gonna open up. You can take a peek. All right, this is the box that it was mailed in. I've undone uh, the tape already, but I haven't looked inside. Here we go. Oh yeah. Billy Joel, The Vinyl Collection, Volume 2. I believe there won't be a Volume 3. I think this wraps it up pretty much for Mr. Joel and his vinyl albums, but let's take this out of here. All right, and we'll discard this box very gently. All right, let's see what the hype sticker says. Billy Joel, The Vinyl Collection, Volume 2, 11 LP box set, all albums remastered for vinyl in 2023. That's this year. So they did a new remaster job on all of these. Glass Houses, The Nylon Curtain, An Innocent Man, The Bridge, Stormfront, River of Dreams, Fantasies and Delusions, First Time on Vinyl. And for the first time, audio release of Live from Long Island, spread across three LPs, plus 60 page booklet with highlights from Billy Joel's later recording career. All right, let's flip it over on the back. All right, there's the albums. That's my fave. Love this one, love this one. This one's okay. Love this one, this one's okay. This is not my cup of tea. Excited for this. I believe this was an HBO special. That's what I think this is from. So pretty great, eight albums spread across, I think it said 11 discs. Let's open it up. Let's see what the spine looks like. Billy Joel, Vinyl Collection, Volume 2. Well, this is actually, well, that's not really the spine because that's a, a, a card. So let's open it up. Oh, well, we can look, oh, we can look at these. Check that out. Glass Houses, Nylon Curtain, An Innocent Man, The Bridge, Stormfront, River of Dreams, Fantasies and Delusions, Live from Long Island. So excited to finally own the Nylon Curtain once again on vinyl. I owned it back in the day when it originally came out. And then I got rid of all my vinyl and CDs, made an appearance. And now I'm back getting stuff on vinyl again. So... That's how it works, right? Whatever the new format is, right now it happens to be the original format of the vinyl. Okay, so I'm removing this. Let's see what the actual spine is like. Oh, it's just blank. All right, cool. All right. Let's take these out one at a time. Let's start with glass houses. All right. I remember the original album was kind of textured, but this is, this is smooth reproduction. Not bad though. Looks pretty good. You know, they did a good job with this. This is my favorite from 1980, but again, remastered for vinyl in 2023. Let's take a, a look. There we go. Billy Joel Band. Every bit as important as the E Street Band in regard to Billy Joel's recorded career. It's a fact. If the E Street Band is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I feel these guys should be. Javers, Stegmeyer, DeVito, Brown, Kanata. Come on. And then we have the lyrics. 
just great. I call this Billy Joel Skinny Tie album. It's kind of a new wavy punk thing. The old original Columbia record sticker. All right. Let's put this one off to the side and let's take a look at Nylon Curtain. There's the back, Billy Joel with a beard. A much different record from Glass Houses. Very Beatlesque. Lyrics are a little bit more serious. Got the lyrics there. And there's your neighborhood. Just a cool album though. It's so different. That's what I like about Billy Joel. Every album was different, had a different sound, you know. This side is, it's loaded up. Allentown, Laura, Pressure, Goodnight Saigon. A perfect album side, in my opinion. Just fantastic. I'm excited to spin this one. The Nylon Curtain. All right, then what's he do next? Pays tribute to all the bands that influenced him with The Innocent Man. I'm sorry, An Innocent Man. And again, this is just a monster album. This was the first time I saw Billy on tour. And just, I mean, the hits just kept coming. And there's the Billy Joel Band. Yeah, just a great album. There he is, Piano Man. Perfectly captured this time period with original tunes. Hard to do. But instead of doing a covers album, he kind of wrote his own covers, right? Easy Money, An Innocent Man, Longest Time, This Night, Tell Her About It, I mean, just, it just hits. Billy Joel could churn out the hits and in different styles. I loved Billy Joel when I was a teenager. The music means so much more to me now. I don't know why, it just does. I love it. All right, I used to have this poster of this photo in my college dorm room. Circa 1986, it was a giant poster. So this album, uh, just nine tracks on this album. Not my favorite. The Bridge, even Billy Joel says, not his favorite. I don't think I ever owned this one on album because I was full on CDs by that point. So seeing this bigger reproduction from the CD booklet is uh, is cool for me. Cindy Lauper, Billy Joel, across his entire solo career, he's only ever recorded a song co-written with someone else. And it's on this album. The song is called Code of Silence. And it was co-written with Miss Cindy Lopper. Let's see what we got in here. Is we, yep, we're still continuing with the Columbia Records red sticker. Running on Ice, I love it. This is the time, I love it. Matter of Trust, I love. Modern Woman, I love. Baby Grand, mm, not so much. I respect it, but I don't love it. And then, Big Man on Mulberry Street, not my thing. Temptation I like, Code of Silence is pretty good. Getting Closer is okay. So yeah, this one, you know, I'll take this out for a spin. But um, this one's never uh, grown on me. You know, most of Billy's albums I love start to finish, but The Bridge is not one. But he rebounds with Stormfront, produced by Mick Jones of Foreigner. And Billy Joel, Words and Music by Billy Joel.
This is a great album. Love that cover too. I love the bridge cover also, but um, yeah, I just love this one. Oh, I did see Billy on the bridge tour and I saw him on this tour. Just so you know. Three tours in a row, I went out. Again, I don't think I ever owned this on vinyl either. So there's the lyrics. This says uh, special thanks to Brian Adams. So I don't know, maybe Brian does some background vocals on here somewhere. You know, simple co cover and uh, simple picture, simple black and white insert, but man, Great songs, Down Easter Alexa, I Go to Extremes, Shameless, We Didn't Start the Fire, That's Not Her Style. This is a killer side one. Just excellent. All right, moving on. We're gonna float down the river of dreams. Cover painting by Mrs. Billy Joel at the time. Christy Brinkley. Now, this is when Billy decided after this album, done creating new music. And I can't believe he stuck to that. This came out in 1993. So that is, is my math right? 20 years ago? No, 30 years ago. Wow, time flies. 30 years ago, Billy Joel said, no more original music, or at least original pop music. And he was right. Produced by David Korchmar. We call him Cooch. He's played with everybody. Jackson Brown, Carol King, James Taylor. Currently in a band called The Immediate Family with his friends Leland Sklar, Russ Kunkel, and Wadi Wachtel. So, good songs on this one. No Man's Land, Great Wall of China. I think this one gets overlooked sometimes. Uh, River of Dreams was a monster hit, still in the set list today. I don't think Billy really touches uh, many of these other songs in his current set list, but that's only because he has so many songs. Here we go. And there's the photo of Billy in the, in the River of Dreams, I assume. So, Lullaby, Good Night My Angel, it's a great song. Written for his daughter, Alexa Ray. And now we're getting a different, uh, a different sticker here. Look at this. Very modern. All right. Side A and B, and, and it's weird because this says side one, but that says side A, so, you know. Very weird though, it's a very weird, uh, different sticker than the rest, that's okay. All right, this one I know I did not own on vinyl because it's not my thing. Fantasy, mm, fantasies and Delusions. I've listened to this album, but um, it's not my thing. Music composed by Billy Joel, music performed by, I'm not even gonna attempt it, but um, this is spread across two albums. Look at Billy's hair there. Looks like a monk. So. I kind of like that hairstyle. I've never seen these pictures before in my life. Because I, I don't own this uh, on CD either. All instrumentals. I have it digitally, but I don't have it physically until now on this vinyl. Let's look at it. Wow, now look, this is like the, the classical label. Let's see, it says Masterworks right there. Billy Joel, Fantasies and Delusion. Look, look how much space is there. They spread this out over two albums. I guess they had to. Music for solo piano. All right. So, this, so when I listen to this album, I don't think this is Billy Joel on this album. It's this gentleman. Composed by Billy Joel. There you go. 
go. These are all the opuses. I don't know why they're out of order. I would think that it would go opus one, then two, then three, but this is how it is. Producer is Stephen Epstein. I don't know who that is either. All right, let's keep going. All right, Billy Joel, live from Long Island. Come on. Look at this set list. Allentown, My Life. Prelude, Angry Young Man, Piano Man, Don't Ask Me Why, The Stranger, Scandinavian Skies, Moving Out, Anthony Song, She's Always a Woman, Pressure, Scenes from an Italian Restaurant. This must have been for the Nylon Curtain Tour. Uh, Just the Way You Are, Good Night Saigon, Stiletto, Until the Night, Still Rock and Roll to Me, Sometimes a Fantasy, Big Shot, You May Be Right, Only the Good Day Young, Souvenir. That's how we close it out final tune. Let's look at this side. All right, spread out over three albums, six sides. Not my favorite way to listen to vinyl when I have to flip the album so many times, but I'm sure the concert's so long that uh, that's why they need to do that. I'm hoping this gets a digital release on iTunes or Amazon or somewhere so that we can purchase this and have this great show in our music libraries. Produced by Brian Ruggles, Billy's longtime sound man. And again, December 29th, 1982. All right, let's see what they, let's see what they give us sleeve wise. Is it just gonna be it's just going to be like that, folks. Three albums tucked inside there. There's no digital codes in here. Nope. But this has never been released. The audio has never been released. Look at that side. Allentown, My Life, and Prelude, Angry Young Man. This is just fantastic. I don't know when the last time I saw the concert film was. I may have to go to YouTube and check that out. All right, let me get these sleeves in here. There we go. All right, what's left in here is this booklet. So, we'll take this box and put it to the side. And let's adjust the camera a little bit and we will take a look at this booklet all right full color again let me give myself a little bit more room here let's see what's in here i love stuff like this it's a paperback it's not hardback but that's okay break all the records burn the cassettes i'd be lying if i told you that i had no regrets from surprises nylon curtain 82. Look at that tour jacket. Still rock and roll to me. For Billy Joel, the 70s ended a lot better than they began. That's true. As he was successful by the end. Some 45 RPM covers. More jackets. Billy probably with a busted up thumb, but playing through it like a champ. Look at that enamel pin. I'd love to have that. Again, there's Allentown and Pressure. That's not her style. Literally a little cheeky right there. Idol of his age. It's from the song The Entertainer. Still playing live. Still packing them in. It's from Glass Houses Outtake. Gonna throw that rock. I guess there are other things they could release on, on vinyl. 
you know, like the concert from the Soviet Union. All right, this is cool, because here's the lyrics in the booklet too. I know that they're in the albums on the sleeves, but um, this is pretty cool. They put some lyrics. And these are all gonna be photos from that era. And we got the rest of the lyrics. This is cool, because this is my favorite album of his. Am I saying it's his best? No, it's just my personal favorite. So I like all this stuff, pretty cool. Billy punks out, kind of. Again, punky new wave type album. Nylon Curtain, the lyrics, nice photo of the album. And I'm sure this is gonna give us uh, details about the recording of the album and what it meant to people. Never seen this photo before. Did I miss a page? Nope. Cassettes. That was an innocent man. This is nice though, it's nice. It's easy to read these lyrics. Good stuff, folks. This box set is currently a winner. And I know the audio is gonna be good because it was just remastered for 2023. This is all great stuff. Takes me right back. There's the bridge. Again, pretty good album, not great. I do love that cover. You know, Billy got to work with, you know, guests like Julian Lennon and Steve Winwood and his idol, Ray Charles. Is there going to be a picture of Cindy in here? Maybe not, but she's on the sleeve, Cindy Lauper. And then Billy's going to end the 80s with Stormfront. We Didn't Start the Fire gets a lot of flack. I love that song. I don't care. I don't care who doesn't like it. I love it. I remember these t-shirts from the show. That's from the video. I think Marley Matlin, if I'm saying her name right, is in that video for We Didn't Start the Fire. And then we come to River of Dreams. Billy enters the 90s. And he kind of ends it then. He ends it 30 years ago. Do I want Billy Joel to record new music? If it's good, for sure. But he doesn't have to do anything. He's done enough for us. Just great photos. Nice full color booklet. And then fantasies and delusions. Again, if this is your bag, you're gonna like having this it's from 2001. You know, since then, some compilations, some live releases. And definitely touring, touring, touring. Here's some stills from the video. I wonder if they'll release this on a Blu-ray or a DVD or 4K. I remember on VHS, Billy Joel live from Long Island. All right, that's the end. Vinyl sources created from original tapes by Ted Jensen. So I'm hoping those are analog tapes. I'm sure they are. Let's close it up. There we go. Here's what the box looks like. Billy Joel, The Vinyl Collection, Volume 2. This is a 10 out of 10. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. The holidays are coming up. Put this on your list to give to someone or to receive. Perfect. Can't wait to listen.
Thank you, Columbia Records. Thank you, Billy Joel.